Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this electric longboard. So what you're going to need is a board. I cut mine about 4 foot by 10 inches long and I'm using parts from an old scooter. I have the battery and the motor. And what you're going to need to cut out is the area for the chain and everything. And I made these myself. They're just little brackets that hold the wheel onto the board but you can buy them at any hardware store so once you have your holes cut and your brackets then you're gonna want to put the wheel on and I'd put the chain on first and then put the wheel through the brackets or else you won't be able to get the chain on at all and then you're pretty much ready to screw it down So right after I just finished screwing that together, I just realized that the motor actually turns the different way than I thought, so I had to switch the wheel around, but it's no big deal. So I've been working, and I've been working on these brackets to hold the batteries down, and I also added a strap, and I'm going to add them on both of them just to keep the battery from coming up. And I also drilled this little hole here to get this battery connection down to the bottom and underneath I'm going to mount the control box and all the wires are going to be underneath there. What I've done is I've made a little plate and I put it down here just to keep the wires from dragging on the bottom of the ground and I have it flipped upside down right now just to get the wires fixed. And I'm going to be putting a pair of longboard trucks on there so that you just lean to the left or right and it'll turn with you. And what I've done with the throttle here, I duct taped a little piece of wood to the throttle so that, so that if I want to go, I could just use one hand and all I have to do is press like this. And once you, once you got everything screwed down now, you're pretty much ready to go. So I've been running into a lot of problems. And one of the main things is the steering. I've been getting a wheel bite where the wheel touches the wood for a long time. I tried elevating the front truck, but it made it so top heavy, it just flipped over very easily. And I even tried putting a second truck on there. Hopefully thinking that it would turn a little bit easier, but I ended up cutting out little slots for the wheel and it seems to work really good. So after finishing the last touches on the board, I sanded it up, cut the front out, and cut areas where the wheels don't rub. And I added a little steel plate so the brakes don't jiggle around. After I did that, it looks pretty nice. And now for some clips of me riding it. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any suggestions for what I should build next please leave it in the comments because I will probably build it and if you haven't please subscribe because I will be having more content pretty soon. Have a good day and goodbye.